Controversial and revolutionary, the United Association of the 19th Century was unique from their surrounding American communities for their views on religion and marriage. Their founder, John Humphrey Noyes, preached a religion in which human beings were capable of reaching perfection. Thus, they were dubbed the Perfectionists. According to Noyes, Christ had already risen, and the kingdom of heaven was coming closer to earth. Noyes believed that in heaven, no man or woman was married to each other, because the Bible states, quote, Marriage which assigns the exclusive possession of one woman to one man does not exist. End quote. From this quote, Noyes developed his theory of complex marriage. Complex marriage was Noyes' radical idea that no man or woman could be married exclusively, but in fact, all men and women in Oneida were married to each other. Because this idea of free love was applied to the whole community, it makes someone wonder how it would affect the daily lives and beliefs of the members. From a religious standpoint, the Oneida community members truly believed that free love is practiced in the kingdom of heaven. They also felt that complex marriage was good for a person morally, too. As one community member stated, Complex marriage refines and exalts the character generally. It is calculated to abolish selfishness in its most subtle and deep-rooted forms. Because complex marriage was rooted in the religion of the community, it was accepted more and viewed as beneficial to the soul. Another effect that complex marriage had on the community was the daily activities and general beliefs of the individuals. With every member of the community married to each other, the members were free to have sex with whomever they wished. Casual sexual activity became less stigmatized and much more common throughout the community. Tears of Miller documents the nonchalant attitude the community had towards sex in her memoirs, Desire and Duty at Oneida. Miller notes how casual and impulsive the sexual encounter could be when she recalls how, quote, Edward proposed to sleep with her tonight, so that they could become more acquainted a little before, but she was taken with him this afternoon. As one can see, Miller depicts a society where one is free to choose whatever partner they want, when they want them. Men were not dominant to women because they knew that women were every bit as important to the community as the men were. Because they believed that they were capable of perfection and the kingdom of heaven was approaching, the United Community believed that they were living in a utopian society. The men and women worked in harmony and lived very closely with one another inside the mansion house. The United Community believed in public criticism, a system in which everyone was allowed to voice their opinion on things they did not like about the community. Because there were no exclusive couples in Oneida, the children were raised by the community as a whole. With the children being raised by the community, the mothers no longer had a heavy burden of raising a child on their own. They were still free to follow educational and musical pursuits. As one can see, the institution of complex marriage had a dramatic effect on the lives of each community member. The reason such a radical idea was accepted by the members was because Noyes had rooted his arguments based off the Bible. From a religious standpoint, the members believed they were cleansing themselves. They believed that complex marriage and regular sexual activity taught self-control and prevented selfishness. Free love also greatly affected the daily lives of the members as well. Sexual activity became less stigmatized because members were free to be with whomever they wanted. This allowed for men and women to take as many partners as they wanted as long as they did not become overly attached to one. Men and women were viewed as equals and the children were not always raised by the parents, but the, rather the community as a whole. Although it was controversial, the United Community's beliefs are what set it apart from the other communities of its era.